welcome, one and all, to Puppet Parables, a show where these three friends attempt to recount stories from movies, history, mythology, literature, and more. Sit back, relax, and enjoy as we stumble our way through these tales. Welcome. That wants to keep you on your toes. Um, welcome back. Um, unless this is the first view and you're doing, then then go welcome. back and watch the rest. Go back and then come back. Oh, you're not a real fan. Indeed. Um, so today we're talking about the one of the most famous uh, writers, um, granddaddy of uh, J.K. Rowling aesthetics, <laughs> not problematic at all. J.K. Rowling. Just kidding. We're talking about Oscar. J.K. J.K. We're talking about Oscar Wilde. I know that twist is kind of wild. So he's old. He's British. And this takes place in like freaking like 1700s, like chimney sweepers, industrial revolution. You know the you know the gist. He he's a British boy. He's born. Both of his parents are like dead as hell. Um, he's an orphan. He gets sent to this little orphan place, and then he, he wasn't like well behaved as a as an orphan in the orphanage. Um, and they were all really mean to him. There's like this one like lady, and she like beat him a lot. And she <laughs> like she beat all the other boys too. It was like an all boy orphanage, and they all got beat together. <laughs> and um, <laughs> this is gonna be you get beat as brothers. It's like, it's like, it's like the it's like the Hawaii Five O dr- drum line, but it's like a bunch of boys lined up. <laughs> it's gonna be a horrible thing to reenact. <laughs> um, he like gets in really big trouble because as an orphan, you aren't supposed to ask for anything. And he was like in a cafeteria, and he asked for more of soup. <laughs> more soup. Please, like, sir, can I have some more? I just realized I made a horrible mistake. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of Oliver Twist <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> not Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Yeah. Oscar Wilde. Charles Dickens. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was I was thinking of Oliver Twist. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, oh, I actually I, I actually do know Oscar Wilde. This is like weirder somehow. As a <laughs> like as a kid, his mom wanted a daughter, so she dressed him up as a little girl. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so he wasn't an orphan. That was a lie. Disregard the past I can't story. Believe that. Uh, we're still we are still going to include this in the episode. <laughs> I think we need to be clear. We are entirely sober while recording this. Yeah, I'm yeah. just so not very smart. <laughs> um, Oscar Wilde, Oliver Twist, basically the same person. I, they're a lot of similar. So <laughs> he, yeah, he's with his mom. His mom's like, I want a daughter, and he goes, oh, Okay, and he gets dressed up as a girl. Um, but I don't remember anything else about his childhood, but then he, like, goes to college. Um, he's a big guy, too. He's, like, six, like, five, which is, like, gigantic, enormous. Especially, especially for back then when everyone was, like, dainty and small. Um, and he had a lot of stories in college of how he, like, just, like, like would lift the guys up and, like, throw them about <laughs> if they weren't <laughs> behaving. <laughs> I will have some more! <laughs> you can't stop me! Um, Not anymore! Um, he, he was Oliver twisted in the head. Um, <laughs> and I, one of the things he's most famous for is his development of aesthetics, the aesthetic movement. Um, and it was because he really loved sunflowers. Um, and that's kind of a symbol associated with him. Um, so in college he uh, loves uh, aesthetic and sunflowers and he was famous for having like nice looking rooms. Because he was like the first dude to get into that business. And he wrote some pretty big stuff. One of his most famous works is the the mirror. It's like Dorian Gray. I don't remember the title. You know the one. It's the guy. He's like really. He's like, oh, I'm so hot. And then he, he like looks in a mirror and he's like, mm, I'm now I'm not hot. <laughs> and that's the whole story. He never saw a mirror in his life. It's true. So basically, all of fuck Oscar Wilde's <laughs> um, his whole. Well, his his downfall was a crime 
uh, a horrific crime. He was gay. He was gay. Uh, no! <laughs> you... Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, he was a homosexual, insert hot, sloppy puppet makes out session with two gay puppets. <laughs> um, and I can't believe we're watching them do this in real time. You're watching it now. The saliva is real puppet saliva. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gay but he had like a wife and kids um but he wasn't he wasn't uh, for real about that he, it was all like part of images i guess and he had like this hot, like boyfriend who was like a hot little fucking piece of ass <laughs> i don't remember his name but he was like blonde and like skinny and like young he was like 21 and like Fucking, uh, he's a little twink. He's a little twink, an old fucking British twink. Actually, he was like from Russia or like Hungary, I think. He was like dating Oscar Wilde, and Oscar Wilde was like 40, and he was like 20. But you know, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. And um, so he's messing around with this little boy toy, uh, and his wife like knows, but she doesn't really care. He's like, okay, and then he. <laughs> And then, um, like, the news gets out, like a journalist or something, something or other. Breaking news! Yay! (laughs) Um, and so this was where Oscar Wilde actually messed up. He, so he gets found out as gay, which is illegal, so I don't mean he's illegal in Britain at this point. Um, his reputation is ruined and his, uh, twink hot piece of ass, uh, just dripping wet boyfriend (laughs) shows up and he's like, You should run away, we should run away! Um, because if you go to court about this, you're gonna be murdered. He's just like, shut up! <laughs> shut the fuck up! And he goes, I'm gonna go to court, and I'm gonna win. Um, and he goes, okay, and then his boyfriend leaves him because he doesn't want to go to jail. Yeah, that's probably the smart thing to do. Yeah, uh, his boyfriend runs away, and then for some reason, Oscar Wilde's like, eh, I'm gonna win this one. Uh, he does not. <laughs> he does not Spoilers. win. Spoilers. Spoilers. He goes into court and they're like, are you gay? And he goes, yeah. And then they go, okay. And they hit the fucking ballot. <laughs> he hits his mallet on the big red button that injects him into the floor. And a you know, fucking trap door opens he falls in gay prison. <laughs> um, oh no, I'm in prison. Trapped with a bunch of other men. Yeah. This is hell. What's your ten sloppy makeout sessions <laughs> on the puppets? Um... So there, he's just like in gay prison, he's like, wife, save me, and she's like, no. And he's like, oh. Yes. So he's just in prison, and then everyone on the outside is like, oh, he's gay, I hate him. Um, and then he dies alone in a prison cell. Um, no one likes him because he's gay. The um, end. The end. That's Yay! Yay! <laughs> and nothing bad ever happened again. Bye! <laughs>